Hey guys, welcome to the 6th grade podcast. Uh, we're going to be talking to you guys about bioengineering today as well as benefits and consequences. So let's recap on benefits and consequences. Uh, an intended benefit is ways that technology helps us and we expected it to do this. An unintended consequence, effects of technology that we did not expect and it could be positive or negative, just like good and bad. Um, we talked last week about technology, whether it helps us or whether it doesn't help us, what happens from it. Um, like TV, let's take TV for example. An intended benefit, so what was TV invented for? It was invented to entertain people. So that entertainment is what TV was supposed to do, so that's called the intended benefit. Um, now the unintended consequence of TV could be that it uses a lot of electricity, it can get expensive. Um, it could also lead to childhood obesity because a lot of kids these days are watching so much TV. All of those things were not expected to happen when TV was invented, but it did. Okay, what is bioengineering? Bio means life, and engineering is application of technology. So bioengineering is applying technology to living things. And we know what living things are. It could be... Um, People, it could be plants, it could be animals. Okay, bioengineers look at problems that occur in living things and they invent technology that will help with these problems. Alright, the first kind of bioengineering is called assistive bioengineering. Assistive bioengineering is a technology that helps without changing the organism. So remember, assistive, that root word is assist, it means help. If you have an assistant, there's somebody who helps you. If you have an assistive bioengineer device, then it is helping you. But the key with assistive bioengineering is that it helps you without changing you. So it helps without changing the organism. So some examples would be eyeglasses. You can put the glasses on and that helps you. It helps you to see better, but we can easily reverse that. We can take those glasses off and it didn't change us. Wheelchairs, it helps you to get around, but you can easily reverse that and get out of the wheelchair. Uh, it helps without changing you. Hearing aids, they sit externally in the ears and they help you to hear, but you can pop them out and it's easily reversed. It didn't change the ear, it didn't change the organism. A prosthetic leg, one that you can attach externally, maybe with a sleeve or a strap. That prosthetic leg helps you to get around, but it doesn't change the leg. Adaptive bioengineering. Adaptive bioengineering is the technologies that help an organism, but they also change an organism. Unlike the assistive, which help an organism and do not change, remember that adaptive does change an organism. The beginning of the word adaptive is adapt, which means to change. And so again, with adaptive bioengineering, the technology is going to change the organism. Some examples include LASIK eye surgery. If you do LASIK eye surgery to your eyes, you can't change that. You can't undo that procedure. So it is adaptive. The same thing with a knee replacement. With a knee replacement, you place a device inside the knee through surgery, and it cannot be removed easily, so it's adaptive. New strains of crops are modified. These are adaptive bioengineering because you cannot change these. Once you create a new strain of a crop, that's what it is until you change it into something else. And a surgically attached arm would be something that is actually sewed on surgically in order to give that organism the opportunity to use the arm. Good luck, guys. I know you'll all get A's. So... Make that happen. Study.